As the world commemorates World Eighth Day, locally all roads led to Bungoma County, where the guest of honor was held CS Dr. Susan Rumicha. This year's theme being and the triple threat, new HIV infections, adolescent pregnancies, and sexual gender-based violence. The CS in her remarks said more than 2 million Kenyans have lost their lives to AIDS-related deaths. And girls and boys, let me tell you, the cost of P2 is much more than the cost of a condom. And in fact, you can never get P2 for free, but you can get a condom for free. She said the government had recorded a 58% decline in annual HIV-related deaths thanks to various interventions. This encouraging performance reflects a five-fold increase in the number of people living with HIV on life-saving antiretroviral treatment from about 250,000 in 2010 to 1.12 million in 2021. Even as the government celebrates milestones it has achieved in recent years, HIV infections rose by 7.5% in 2021, with women and girls being the most vulnerable. That is not a good thing, my fellow countrymen. Truck drivers, especially on the Northern Corridor, the main flag, uh, flag flashpoints other than Kandui and Bukembe include Mariakani, Mnolongo, Salga and Malaba. So we are not saying that they are positive, but you see the chances of uh, uh, transmission are very high because they are on transit. Stakeholders are now being called upon to partner with the government, even as donor funding continues to dwindle. On behalf of the UN family, once again, we have a UN Sustainable Development Cooperation Framework that was launched in July for the next five years, where we partner with government, communities, uh, all stakeholders to end inequalities and end AIDS. And we are committed uh, to work with you to make sure that Kenya achieve its uh, vision 2030 and all development aspirations. Other stakeholders jointly sought the need for social, financial and political goodwill in the fight against the virus. The call for end of new HIV infections, pregnancies and sexual gender-based violence among adolescents doubled the triple threat is key to equalize our society. I reiterate our commitment to end the AIDS pandemic by providing the highest standard of health to all Kenyans. I appreciate all stakeholders including donors who have supported the HIV response in Kenya over the years. Donor funding has been a major issue in terms of the fight against AIDS. And now stakeholders are being called upon to work together to fight the vice. John Makuba, K24 TV, Bungoma.